Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I'm using a large 40 by 20 inch canvas and I'm using some gorgeous colours. I've got my lamp black as my base colour, but I'm also using some greens. I've got a gorgeous gold, a copper and a raw sienna. And I'm going to use this colour palette to do one of my swipes. But I'm not just going to use one embroidery ring, I'm going to use two. And I've also taken some advice from some of my subscribers. They've said to me, why don't I leave one of the rings in place whilst I swipe so the circle is a lot neater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both my embroidery rings. There's two different sizes, the smaller one in the middle and then the larger one on the outer side. I'm going to layer my paints around both of the circles. But first of all, let's get the base colour down and I'll take you through the process. Okay, so the base coat is down. I've popped all my air bubbles with my torch and now I'm just placing the embroidery rings on the canvas. And then what I'll do is I'll take some, some of my colours and I will layer them around the embroidery ring. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go for the gold and the bronze on the inner circle. And then on the outer circle, I'll use my greens and raw sienna. I'll take them off and swipe, but I'm gonna leave the middle one in place. So I'm gonna keep that one where it is whilst I do all my swiping, because people have suggested that I leave it there so the circle itself is a lot neater when I remove the ring after swiping. So I'm gonna start with my gold in the center and I'm just going to layer the color all the way around the embroidery hoop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each color in turn and do exactly the same. So my paints are mixed with Floetrol, the European version of Otrol. And I'm literally using a ratio of one part paint to three parts Floetrol. And I'm going to layer all the paints around the outer circle now. So my inner circle consists of just the copper and the gold. My outer circle will consist of the greens. There's two different greens and the raw sienna. And what I'm hoping is when I swipe the copper and the gold will take prominence and then the greens will pop underneath. So as I'm swiping out, as the paints disperse and as they swipe over the top of each other, those green tones are going to shimmer and shine from the underneath through to the top. And that's what's gonna give this a very different look to the ones that I've done before. That's the plan anyway. So the green is down, I'm going to add the raw sienna and then I'm going to add the other green and then I'll take the hoop off and that's when we can start swiping. I'm a really big fan of green and all the different tones of green that you can get. So. Let's remove the outer hoop first. And as I said, I'm going to leave the hoop in the middle in place whilst I swipe. And the idea is to swipe the copper and the gold over the greens. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking my paper towel and it's quite wide at this stage. I'm going to do a few swipes with the wide part of the paper towel. And then I will reduce the width of the paper towel. This is actually toilet paper because that allows the paper to basically lay on top of the paint 
and swipe out and it drags it with it, but doesn't soak up too much so you lose the paint. So it's actually a great texture and consistency for this kind of technique. So what I'll do is I will take my toilet paper or my paper towel and swipe around the circle. And then as I look at the different elements, so as I look at the different sizes and to create a depth and a 3D look, I'm going to reduce the width of the paper towel and swipe around the circle. I don't really want to leave too much green on the surface. The idea is to really swipe those middle colours over the outer colours because they will really pop and shine through the top swipe, if that makes sense. So what I'll do is I have sped up this video just so you can see the process that I go through and the techniques I use to create this kind of swipe. And what I would say is as you reduce the width of your paper towel, keep it dry, just kind of tap it in the middle to let it kind of touch the surface of the paint and allow it to glide across the surface. Don't be too heavy handed. Don't feel like you have to really drag it across your piece. Just allow it to lay on top and glide as you move it with your hand. I really can't wait for you to see how this turns out. But all I'm doing is, again, the video sped up so you don't spend too long being bored seeing me swipe this design out. But what I'm doing is I'm just taking my paper and swiping around the circle. I'm really looking at the composition. I'm really looking at the areas that I'd like to go over again because there might be too much green that I've left or the width of the paper towel isn't comparable with the other side. So I'm trying to make this symmetrical as well. So I'm really paying attention to the overall look. And I'm in no rush to do that. And I would really advise you just to take your time when you're creating and you're in the, in the zone of being creative. Just allow yourself that time to connect with the paint connect with the design that you're trying to create there's no rules it's totally okay to just kind of go with it sometimes and remember it's only paint so if you need to add a little bit more that's okay just add a little bit more and swipe it through Okay, so I'm happy with this. I feel like I've swiped enough and I'm going to take the middle circle and I'm going to twist it. I'm going to twist it whilst it's still connected to the canvas and the paint and then I will lift it off slowly. And by twisting it, I'm just mixing all those colours together where I've swiped. And as I lift the circle off, I don't want to do this in any rush because I want to do a clean break. And I think this deserves a happy dance. Do you think this deserves a happy dance? I'll do a little bit anyway. But let me take you in for a closer look of the wet version. And you can see how immaculate actually that circle is. And it's a lot neater than the ones before. So thank you so much everyone for suggesting that I leave the embroidery hoop there whilst I swipe. I think it's worked really well. And by just twisting it round, I've managed to have a seamless approach to that where I've used all those different colours. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to let this dry for quite a few weeks before varnishing, but I will take you in for a close up of the dry version too. So stick around for that.
I know, I know, I'm obsessed with showing you the wet version, but I just want to show you some of the details within this piece by swiping that gold and that copper over the top of the green. You can see how that green is layered underneath those colours and it just pops through. So I'm going to take you in for the dried look, but I really wanted you to see how using different width as well of the paper towel creates those different kind of widths of the lines when you swipe and that's really important when I'm doing these kind of pieces because that's what helps create the depth, the movement and the 3D effect. Okay, so guys, this is the dried version. It's not yet varnished. I'm probably going to let it cure for about another week before I varnish it. I will apply a high gloss varnish by Winsor & Newton, a spray varnish to this piece. We're starting to get some nicer weather here now in the UK, so I'm going to go outside and do a lot of my varnishing. It's actually the part that I don't like as much, so I've got quite a few pieces to varnish. But yeah, let me leave you with some of the details. You can just see how that green pops through. And I love working with green. It's one of my favourite colours. But I'd be really interested to know what colour do you think I should try next? And drop those in the comments below. And hopefully I'll pick the colour that you've suggested. I think it gives a really great hint and contrast to the other colours that I've used within this colour palette. Anyway, I just want to say a big thank you for all of your support. I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves, be kind and I hope to see you again soon. Bye everyone.